Hi. Right, um, I'm trying to fix this lens because the camera won't recognize it. Right, okay. This is my Sony A6000. If you can see it, it's very hard working with this camera because I'm using my phone. This is 1000 and this is my lens I'm using. I got this one and it wasn't working like if you see now. I need a battery. <laughs> right, okay. I always make sure I have a battery first. I always take it out so it doesn't drain the battery. It doesn't drain it. If you leave it in, it drains it. Okay, as you can see, yep, it's working. This lens is working. Okay, right. Let's try this lens that I got. Fit it in properly. And let's try. Camera is on. Is there? Well, it doesn't recognize anything. It doesn't work. Even if you go to settings, versions, only pixel camera version. See? So it doesn't pick up the lens, but I can see see it through the lens, but it doesn't pick it up. So I'm gonna see what's wrong with it. Well, I already know what's wrong with it, but just for the sake of this video, I will try to see what's wrong with it. And see if I can fix it. Okay. Right, so I've already got the parts I need for this. So bear with me one second. Let me get everything in order. So for this, I'm going I'm going to be using the Star Screwdriver. Star Screwdriver, this small one. I'm not sure what it's called. It's a bit rubbed off. So I use that quite a lot. I think it's 30. Okay. Right, that's what I'll be needing for all this job. Just this. So start by unscrewing these four screws. So I'm not sure you can see. Okay. Unscrew the four screws. Oh yeah, I have this here to make sure I don't lose the screws. Okay. So this screw is the silver one. Make sure I don't lose that because that's important. Okay. And then the last screw. Place that in a safe place. Okay. Normally, you should be very gentle when you lift this up. Gently lift it up. You can see it's got motherboard underneath. It should be connected. But with this one, I've already done it before to see what's wrong with it. You can see this is intact, so keep it safe. Keep that there. And this is the board. The board is not really held on with any thing. But as you can see, I've got one. This should be one, two. And this one is already open. So it's one, two, three. And then these no I'm not installed so what you do is place the screwdriver underneath this board just lift it up gently gently lift it up and then voila it comes off normally be gentle because as you can see <coughs> I'm guessing that's why the, cask the camera won't recognize it because it's broken the ribbons are broken so I need to change all these ribbons on the lines for it to work if you can see all these okay this will involve soldering I spoke to a cost um a company and they said they can't fix it I should throw the lens away it's not worth fixing 
well, I actually bought the parts I need from internet, from Alibaba, because I couldn't find it on eBay. Okay, keep that safe. Now, to get into the lens, okay, you got these four screws holding it in place. Okay, for these, actually, you need a tweezer of some kind. this I'll need a tweezer because it comes very handy it really is handy so you need one of these okay, you don't have to have it but it just makes things a lot easier okay so I need to unscrew these four screws like there 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 and there okay right These are the four black screws, okay? You want to make sure you keep them safe. I think for this purpose, it be easier if you can find a solo tape to keep them in place. I'm sure I have them somewhere here. If you can find it, Yes, there it is. Sell the tape. Okay. So you get these four screws. Put them in there. And they just stick. there for the next screws so I'll just stick these down on the solar tip it will make things a lot easier so when you're looking for the screws you can find them easier so see a little life hack trick you can use to make this a lot easier so it will like that see I'm living a leeway so you can find where the screws are. Okay, so I'll leave that there. And I'll leave that there. Okay, so I've got the four screws. Right, now the next bit is to, as you can see, I wouldn't touch this one yet. So I'm gonna take this off. It comes off like that easily. Okay, that's what the four screws are holding in place. See, one, two, three, four. That's what's holding it in place. So I keep that safe. Okay, normally, see this? Yep. Yeah. This is where I need to unsolder here and also here okay and just behind underneath here to get to this i need to take this off 
take this off i need to take these off and this off okay so take this off and this off it's ready to come out easily but to take this off and take these two out these two screws so first of all take these two screws out Take this screw out. You have to be careful because you should always remember that this screw is smaller than this screw. So you don't want to mix them together. Got it for this purpose. I'll keep them together because I know they came from this section. And then now I take this screw out. Now the first part is done, so to take it out, I lift this up, just wiggle it out a bit, so it's now loose, as you can see, it's loose, and then I twist this, that's why you need to leave this out, so you can take it out, and then it will twist. Yeah, make sure this is the glue on the metal bit is taken out to be easily taken out and then twist and then pull out pulls out easily just like that okay so this part is connected to this so you have to keep this safe make sure because as you can see this is broken and this needs replacing so i'll keep that safe there and then because that's coming out that's came out so this also comes out easily keep that safe there you go this should normally the ribbon comes like this and has another part that comes out but it is broken so this also has to come out so it's held in by this screw It's about a silver screw. Make sure if I don't forget that. Silver screw. Okay. And then take it out. Just pretty much. Try and get it loose. Voila. See? Soldering bits. And it's gets soldered here. So I need to take that out completely. Okay. And to keep that safe also. So I leave that there. And then a little ha life hack trick. Don't forget to keep the screws safe. It's always important to keep the screws safe. Okay. So we get these four screws there. And then this super one there. What I'm doing is putting the screws by sections so I'll know which section the screws come out so I don't mix them together. Okay, so I put that there. Okay. Right, hold on one second. Okay, welcome back. Right, so now. I need to take this metal bit out. Okay, so far, see? Okay, so take this out. As you can see, I have this metal bit out. As you can see properly here, 
Sell by a screw, so I need to take that out. And then after that, I'll take these three screws out. Okay, let's start. These three screws keep the whole unit into this casing. So these three screws, make sure the whole unit is inside this casing. Okay, let's start. One, two, three. Because I said magnet there, that's why you need a tweezer. To pull out the screw, the screws from the magnets. So you don't want to mix with the magnets with the screws. So because, and there I go. Voila. Okay. So I put this back in there. So it makes it easier not to lose the screw. So I've got the three screws there, and this is the casing. Okay, keep that safe and also have to keep this safe also. <laughs> I lost the screw, hold on one second. Okay, welcome back. Sorry, it took me longer than I thought. See? So it's good to keep the screws in order. Let's keep the screws in order, I don't want to lose them. Okay. Right, let me put this in. I don't want to lose it again. It's very tricky. Okay, so that's in. Get my silver tape. Okay, I need to get more silver tape. Hold on one second, I take a more solo okay. tape. Right. <laughs> New solo tape. And this time scissors. So I'm more prepared. Sorry guys, this is my first time making a video documentary. Okay. Right. Okay, now I've got that involved because if you look, this bit is broken also, so this needs changing. Okay, now I've got the lens and I've got this. So on this lens, my, we need cleaning, so I'm, I, I will clean it while I have this dismantled. Well, I'll see if inside is clean or not. Yeah, okay. To get this parts out, see? It's made of three compart compartments, compartments or components. This, this, and this. So to get these out, it's held in by these three screws. Okay, so start by, as you can see. Okay, unscrew the first one. The second one, and the third one. You have to be very, very careful now. Now it's impairment, or it's very important that you keep the screws safe. Okay. So, I'll have my solo tape ready. Cut out the portion I need. OK. 
keep that there. Okay, if you look, this is just so today I just screw this up and it comes out, slides out. See? Just slides out. See these three gold pieces? I'll need that. So I have to keep that safe also. So take them out. Take this out and take this out. As you can see, this is from Greece. So you have to make sure you don't rub them off. Okay, so one, two, Okay, now this should just slide off. Or oh, it should just slide off. Oh yeah, <laughs> my bad. I still have these three screws here, hold it in place. So take this off yet. One, Three. Now it's just it just slides off just like that. Okay. So I need to bring this back to add my three screws I just took off. Okay. One, two, three, and then back it goes. So keep this safe. Okay, as you can see now, I feel exposed there. The next step is to take these out, this one with the lens. To do that, I have these three screws again. One, two, three. Okay. And that three screw is being held in place in these three grooves. Two and three. So have to be very careful when you take them off. Okay. Start by this one. That's why I have to put them separate because these look from similar but they are different the one from this one this screw is shorter but this one is longer you have to keep them separately okay one two Three. See? Just slides off. Just slide out. Three gold parts again. Get them out again. See? Much longer than before. You need to focus. Okay. It is quite dusty in there. But keep that aside first. This just slides off, just like that.
and this exposes the mechanism of the lens. See? Up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. To get these lens off, I need to take this one first, then this one second, then this one third. And to do that, I can see it's held in place by this let this screws it says one two one two one two okay before don't forget life hack take these screws off Okay, that goes in there. As you can see, this is made from oil. There's a little grease in there to maintain the motion of the lens. So it's not friction, it's always easier. The motion is easier. Okay, so with that, see? Remember how this is? Doesn't get all the way here and that stops there. Okay. Just remember that. Okay. Welcome back. Okay. So now to take this off. See, just to make something clear. See this one? It's made by normal screws. Normal screw. So, if I can get this off. Show that again. No more screw. See? Make sure I get this in order.
Okay. So now, to come part, I can buy this and this. Let's put it back again. So this and this. This and this. And that goes all the way around. Okay. Okay, now this part is held in place by these three screws.
does that part. Keep that safe. Okay, now to get this part out, to get this out, it's no longer held in any screw, it's just held in by this. Just need to lift it up. Give me one second. Okay, just need to take it up out because I'm changing this anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. So this comes off. See? Comes off. And then. This comes out of place. Just take off the glue. Just keeping it intact. See? Help I glue. As you can see, this seems to be in good working order. Okay. Now, let's change this. Okay, welcome back. And these are the parts I ordered. And it came, so just need to take out the one I need at the moment, which is this one okay it gets quite tricky now okay so let's take this out I need to take these out You don't have to, but it's always good to leave it how you found it. See, comes out. See, these are kept in place by glues. Don't want to lose them. So, first thing is first is to assemble this in properly. Thank you. 
Okay. I don't need this anymore, so I can go. Right. Welcome back. So now to do everything in reverse or in reverse. So now I need to bend this this way. Or was it? Looking at this, okay. yeah, it's bent this way. So, to bend this this way, a bit tricky but yeah just need to get it properly Okay, and now that I have this through there and stick off. Take this one off.
okay now i've got this in place now for the next part Before I do that, I need to make sure I clean the glass lens so it doesn't get smudged up. Always make sure you clean this if not, it means a pain and get smudges in your lens. So I have a clean cloth and give this a wipe to take off any fingerprints. Or oh, grease. There must be my mind haven't gone on to it. Okay, that looks clean. And it applies also inside there also. Okay, that looks clean. Don't worry about the outside, just do the inside first. Because once That has been done. It gets quite hard to clean inside. Okay, now this is why I was doing this before with the solo tape. Okay, so take one and take one. So put this aside first. Okay. Okay, and now I'm back to reverse. So to do that, I will need that.
okay so you can see that goes in there and then the other one will go in here just in there the slider okay and then that applies to this and this Okay, just like before. Okay, okay, welcome back. Just have to double check what I did before. So I use this. So this goes here. So 
it's always good to make sure it is aligned first Okay, so now it's time to put it in here. Okay. Now, this one. So, put this out of the way. And then slide this in. Okay, so it's all done. So now for this. Oh, made a mistake. So I have to take it out again.
and to put this first this to this okay but before that I need to keep this a clean see quite dirty there to keep it clean Clean inside. They're very good clean. See? I'm using Invisible Shield application spray. Okay, so spray, spray inside, then I clean. this to dry make sure it's dry inside because once this closes it ain't coming out Same for also just make sure there's no dirt from the inside. So I clean the outside just to have a look. wool and just go over inside okay, let's get cotton wool and just clean on the inside just to make sure there's no streaks to take Okay. 
let's use this to get any fiber off okay fiber around the edges okay once that's done take this and this goes on here just like that okay to do that I'll need these That's why it's good to separate them, separate them in the beginning. Makes things a lot easier at this stage. Okay, as I said before, makes things a lot easier at this stage. So okay, see there are two parts to this. So you put the you put this in here, not in here, but in here. Okay, same goes for the rest.
actually just slide in. Okay. Voila. Okay. That's that done. Okay. Welcome back. Now time for this. To put this in to do that I need three screws which will go one two one two three okay so to do this I need to first of all increase this so it doesn't get in the way
this is quite tricky because if I break this, I'll start again. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to put this kind of away. Put this away. So while I do this. close So the trick is to get these inside without damaging it. Oh, okay.
Finally. Okay. Eighteen. Two hundred. Okay. Make sure that works. Then lock that so it doesn't move. Okay. That part is done. Hello and welcome back. Um I have finished assembling this from pre um previously, so it's not just need to finish soldering the other parts so first of all I'll start with this part okay just gonna solder it first for the parts I, I have bought uh, so these are my parts I've got from Alibaba so I just need to find the right one Okay, and I'm not sure if you can see. This is the part I got from Alibaba, Ali Express, and yeah, it's perfect match. This is how it should go, and then it goes up. Okay, so first of all, I need to dissolve this my soldering iron, and then put it on again. Okay, to do this, I have a set of folding iron. Put this aside. I bought this off eBay. It's soldering iron and it got soldering pump. What it does, you press it down. <laughs> it wants to work. Okay, press it down. It's a soldering pump, suction pump. Put it there. And it sucks it. Okay. And soldering coil that goes there. Soldering pump goes there. Soldering iron. This one is. Adjustable temperature. So, which is quite good. Very, very handy. And this is the soldering iron. And I have an extra tip. Why I, I received this is because 
I needed these tips for this really annoying. Okay, just think open it and then we'll be on our way. So I need this one, the very fine one. So I'm gonna take this one out. That's what I need for this particular job. It's my first time actually opening this orion iron for this one and your spots. I haven't actually tried it, so bear with me one second. Every soldering guy knows you have to put water in this. You have to put water in this. So I have no water, so bear with me one second. Okay, I'll be right back. back. I have changed the soldering tape. So it's pointier and I've set the soldering to 200 degrees centigrade so it doesn't melt too much and then I have added water to the sponge so okay now plug the soldering iron first. See, it is on. It's red. Okay, from two hundred degrees, I let it get hot. You don't want to touch this when it gets hot. Okay, I'll leave it for a few minutes while I get things sorted out. Okay, I'm gonna let it get hot first for a few minutes. Now I'll be right. Okay, welcome back. I've had it for about two minutes now on 200 degrees. Just make sure it's hot. You don't wanna touch it. You can really see. So you just touch it on this. You see? You can hear the sizzle. Okay, that's good. So now I'm gonna try and melt the old old soldering bits off. Okay, and the old one is out. The trick is to solder it, but not try not to get the solder in between, because that will shut it out. That will short circuit out. I don't want it. You don't want that to happen. You want to solder it, but you want, don't want it to be shorted out. Okay, and this is the. to get it aligned make sure it fits okay yep it fits as you can see it fits okay to be able to make sure it's okay I have to take off the glue at the back so peel this off and then align this back on again so 
so this will keep it in place while I solder it back on again. I have my soldering tube with my soldering coil. Thread it through. Thread it through. And close. And just pull. Just like that. Okay, now the trick is to solder this onto this without short um, shutting it out. So I need like, some leeway. Make sure my soldering is on. And get a few soldering on the bits, soldering bits. And then just like that. Last one. I need to make sure it's actually on the board. Last thing I want is to have this, so Okay, now for the other two. So I have to keep looking at the camera, make sure I've got it right in the middle of the camera so you can see properly also. Okay. For the last one, it's probably too much. That's too much. See a tiny bit. Don't need that much on it. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see this. I have soldered three of them together. And it looks good. I like it. Okay. And as you can see it is not touching together but yeah okay 
one down. One to go. Okay, part two. Okay, another part two. Still, leave it at 200. Make sure it's at 200. Always make sure. And using the the pointy pointy soldering bits. Okay, now on this part, I have to take off this one, this one, this one, and this one to make it easy for myself. I either take off this one and apply this one first, which make it easier and try that. Just look at the camera, make sure I'm in the center. Okay. Let's try this. seem to be something else I'm not sure what it is but it's like I'm gonna have to do this one first Okay, that one is out. Why I said to leave it at 200 degrees is because if I put this on the ribbon, it will be melted that fast. Try good to give it low temperature, but it will melt the soldering light, soldering bits. Okay, so. Now for this one. I'm not sure what exactly what it is, but I'll see how it if it melts or not. If I can melt it or not, but I need to get it out somehow.
Okay, that seems to be a success, I think. Just need to peel it out now. Sorry, just checking on something, making sure I haven't damaged the pin in it. Oh, great. You have to be careful because, see, just melted the plastic by mistake. I wasn't careful, so I have to be very, very careful. I don't want to melt the plastic. show this after I finish. Okay. Uh, managed to get it off. There you go. Yeah, just a bit of melted plastic from before. But that should be fine. Okay. So now I need to insert this here. Insert this here. And then these ones go on the other side. So I believe it's best to do this one first. Since it was the hardest to put in. To do that, I should be able to slide. Okay, I have the pins in, in there, just need to solder it in. And again, it's always good to take off the glue at the back so it sits in properly. So this goes in like that. Okay. So I need to take off these one, two, two glues. done. Let's align it again. As you can see, let's put it there. Yeah, these are quite delicate. What it means? Still has a few residue of soldering. Materials on. So just need to melt that. It's very hard to see with my camera. This is my phone at the moment, so it's quite hard. So I just try and get this. Out.
slide and slide these in. Anyway, the point is to get this in there, so be right back. Okay. I managed to get it in, so now to sew the bits so they're in properly. Try and do it individually. A bit tricky. Okay. Can I? Can you see? Tricky parts. Always make sure <laughs> your stuff is on two hundred degrees. And it's very hard. Easy if I don't mag magnifying glass. get this on top of this it's quite too much I don't want that many too much you see a tiny bit Okay, that's one. Three more to go.
three. you can see okay it's a tiny bit of space in between how do So now later, okay. This part is done. Now for this part. Okay. okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's quite tricky. So I have to do it myself without the camera. So I can concentrate a bit more. Okay. If you can see, I did it. I have done it. Okay. Now to assemble it. First of all, I declare this first, and then we can get back to it, okay? Okay, right. Now to assemble it. So, get the screws that I need.
first I need to put this back here okay Okay, that's done. In order to do this, I need to bend this, kind of like this. So it's out of the way. Okay, now for this part, assemble it. Yeah, I need to make sure it's level. I think I missed a step. Give me one second. Let me just take this out again. this goes in first okay right this one first and then let's try again
Maybe a small screw. That goes right. In there. Before I put this in, I have to make sure I take off the the glue parts. This doesn't want to stay in place, so I'm just going to use solo tape and keep it in place.
it's looking good so far. Okay, almost there, just need to put this in place.
Now what's left now is to add this and then and that, then that's it. Okay, just gonna add this first and be right back. Hello and welcome back. Right, so I've managed to fit it together. As you can see, it still works. Now for the moment of truth to see if it actually works. Okay. Now for my camera. This is the original one. See? It works. And if I go to menu, version, it tells me which lens version it is. Okay. Now let's try it now. See what it says. Okay, here it goes. Autofocus is working, which is not bad. Vision. Ah, it works. Finally. <laughs> okay, so this is how you fix a camera. Yeah. This is it recognizing the camera lens. So if I go to single shot, let's have a look. My bad. Let's try again. Single shot. Let's have a go. Yep, looks good. Uh, yeah, seems to work fine. Finally, okay, just need to update the lens, and that's it. Cool. Okay, thank you very much for watching my video and hope this helps you in any way. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.